Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to Will It Run? So today's request comes from James85 once more. He wants to know if the arcade version of Hammer and Harry will run on the SNES and NES Classic. So we're taking a look at that today. If you haven't already hacked your system, I will leave a link in my description for a tutorial video on how to get that done. After that's finished, you want to go back to HackGCE, go to Modules, and then to the Mod Store. You want to click the RetroArch tab, and then you're going to install the newest version of RetroArch Neo. You just hit the button right here that says Download Module. Once that's complete, go to the RetroArch Cores tab. You're going to scroll down to the MAME section, and we're looking for the MAME 2003 core. One more time, Download Module, and you're all set. You can close the Mod Store. Go back into your Modules tab, and go to Install Extra Modules. You're going to put a check mark next to RetroArch Neo if you haven't installed that before, and one next to MAME 2003. Then you're just going to hit the OK button. After you do that, a bar will appear, and it'll start to fill in. Once it's filled in all the way, it means that these cores are installed and they're ready to be used. Now we have to add our game. Go to the Add More Games button down here in the corner, and then you're going to navigate to whatever folder you keep your ROMs in. Our ROM is coming from the MAME 0.78 ROM set. That's very important. You have to get the ROM that comes from this specific ROM set. The ROM we're looking for is right here, hharry.zip. It's about 723 kilobytes. Just hit open. Here's the file system that you are looking for. Just click import as archive. On the next screen, click the show all option here. Highlight your game. And we're going to scroll down to the system that we're using. We want MAME 2003. In the core selection, one more time, MAME 2003. You see here, it specifies the 0.78 ROM set. Click apply, then close. You'll see the command line has been changed for us already. So we're going to change the name and get some box art. All right, looks like we are all set here. The last step is to hit the synchronize button if you are moving the game from your PC to your system, or the export games button if you're moving the game from your PC to a flash drive. And then that's it. Let's head over to the SNES Classic, take a look at Hammer and Harry. All right, here we are. Let's start it up. On some arcade games, you may get this screen that pops up. It just lets you know that certain configurations or video orientations will not work with specific games. That's okay. If you just hit left and right, you'll get past that screen, no problem. I actually never played the arcade version of this. I played the NES version a lot. I actually speed ran it a long time ago. So let's coin up. Um, it's a really fun side scroller. Hit start. You got a little story here. Apparently, not too long ago, Harry ran away and a bunch of people came. Oh, they messed up his house. Oh, wait, what? How? He, oh, he said hammer time. So this part's cool. Let's get busy. I love that. That's so awesome. All right, so Harry's gonna go about and pretty much destroy this company's work um but also they shouldn't have you know destroyed his house because that's never a good thing to do it's not nice to do that i don't know why that happened so if you just hit the attack button you got a basic attack if you hold down you'll do this kind of pound thing that will stun enemies let me see if i can get an enemy on the screen so i can show that out to you okay here we go we'll get some guys here there and they're throwing soup that's a waste of soup and a smack. So you hold down, you do the, the pound. If you hold up, you can do a little whatever you want to call that. You can attack in midair and do the up thing in uh, midair. And if you time your attack right, you can make it so your down attack hits after jumping and you get that little static whatever attack thing. So let's spill that guy's soup. Oh gosh, no. Soup in the face. Also, you only get one hit. And then you're done. So, huge uh, learning curve here for these. These games, oh boy. We're doing great. We're doing fine. The electric company is in town. We don't need that. Safety first, says RN Inc. RN. I wonder what that stands for. Rusty Nails. That's right. These guys are the Rusty Nails. They're not good people. Oh, we got a bigger guy down here. He's got a uh, hair dryer? Or a nail, oh, nail, nail gun, probably. But he went away pretty quick. All right. Oh, here's, this must be the boss. Oh, jeez. All right. Just sandbags. Oh, he doesn't like that. Oh, I think we got it. We got, yeah, we got the system now. Get away. 
That didn't work. There we go. Okay. He doesn't like being hit in the face with sand. Oh. Harry doesn't like sandbags at all. Oh, you can knock him back, too. Harry's pretty strong. Oh, no. I can't get this bag out. Can I attack him? Oh, I can. We're going in for the kill. Well, he knocks us back, though. Pretty hard, too. There, have some electricity. Uh-oh, that was close. This is probably not the safe way to do it. Oh, we won. Hammer and Harry, hammer those rusty nails. Rusty nail... Rusty nail development project? Oh my gosh, why? What construction company would need... Huge spiky balls? There's something fishy about this company. I, don't, I can't put my finger on it. It could be that they're trying to kill this guy. Oh, that was my fault. So there you go. Hammer and Harry Arcade plays perfectly on the SNES and NES Classic using MAME 2003. Huge thanks to James85 for his request. If there's any games you would like to request me to check out on these systems, feel free to fill out the form I will have in my description and I will get to it as soon as I can. So as usual, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.